Ted the Bart loan yesterday to my aunt's funeral, my aunt's baby scattered. My father went down to see his brother's grave, and Barney's sons wouldn't let him have it. Barney was a legend in his time, but he never reared a son like himself. If any of his sons has anything to say to any of my family, tell them know who we are and won't be hard. Call us when you meet as you want. I heard he, Uncle Barney, in our mercy, is a kid in the uh, north. And the cause of his death is his son Barney, yellow baby. He brought Barney there, no one else. He brought Barney, and he's the cause of Barney dying. Barney stood like a man and died like a man. But his son Barney, with his, with his wife Bates, ran and left him. So Barney is your nobody. That's what I say. Willie, you're up making a tape beside your father this morning. Your father got respect to this grave yesterday when I put him away. This is Tommy's young fellas, you know exactly by my voice who exactly it is. I put the other younger, younger young fellas away from this grave yesterday. Your father had no need of this grave yesterday, Willie, because ye reneged him. Ye reneged Uncle Barney, we never reneged him. It was your argument, Willie, that this man is lying in his grave here this morning. It's your argument, down to your brother Dennis not answering for himself. Do you remember? Down to Dennis not answering for himself. We to answer for ye. We done it all our life and we'll still do it when we had to do it in Banisloe for you done a couple of weeks ago. When we had to do it in Banisloe when you hid inside the trailers and we told you to come out and stop making a show yourself. Alright? Now Willie, don't let Nanda be the man. If you remember Willie, the same man that put him in the grave, alright? He's in the grave, he'll rest in peace. If we meet Cohn's head, we meet him. If we don't, we don't. But that, uh, that's our tale to tell. We could be lying in the grave, he could be lying in the grave, alright? But you remember, Willie, it was your son that got stabbed in Longford, and it was Patrick that stopped Hulf from going over to Cohn's head in the, in, in, in the, in the hospital, alright? It was Patrick that stopped, as he says, if you go over and see Patrick's young fellas in the hospital, you're standing against me. You're standing against me. You're, you were there, Willie, and so was your brother Patrick. Don't forget about that. Right? You're on about Willie that you're this and you're that. You're nobody's. You're always nobody's. Underneath a camera, Willie. Underneath a camera, if you want to. Oh, boys, look. You see where we are? It's less than 10 minutes ago since you were here. If any of you has the bottle to come back. I'm sending him a copper. No, if any of you has the bottle to come down to my father's grave now, where we're standing, and be able to do anything, come now. Yeah, any of you big pals, the family bastards. Willie, you're on about uncles and at a grave. Is your I not I wouldn't disrespect it's your father, Willie, did hunt Uncle Barney where he is. You over Willie's Patrick, it's your father. Ye you started an argument out the road, Dennis, uh Willie, with Joyce's. Did you couldn't handle yourself? Did ye you couldn't handle yourself? Did you to get up in tapes and get other men you do your dirty work for you? You know Willie exactly what I'm on about. And it'll short like a cunt there beside you 25 mile an hour and know what I'm on about. You're on about Willie that you're this and you're that. You're nobody's. You're lick arses to Cohn's head. They got, did he turn around and back on you? And he's running you now yourselves. You, you dirty animal cowsy bastard. We were down here yesterday, Willie, and you went out the gate. Don't be a man about it now, Willie. If you want to get up, we're here at the grave. Or if you want to meet any place, any part of the road, we'll meet. Don't worry, Willie, you won't push something. We're willing to go in the graves. Are ye? Yes, sheep dog. Willie, it never came to me, your son. Thinking that you're a bit of a man, your dad is behind you. If you want to come to daddy's grave here, we're here, look. There's not a crowd of us, but there's four or five of us here. We're here. If you're game enough, you, your half a brother Martin, McDonough, the boy that changed his name on the phone to me one night and bled, 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 bled my father in something wrong. But Martin, I promise you, you'll be got. You will be got one million percent. And you, Paddy Pickett, is he got your wife? You're, you're no better. You're no better. None of you. You're all right from the garage, you sheep dog. Perfect, Billy. I'm going to let you talk. But talk away now, son, because you're hurting me. Go on. Willie, listen to me. Ye come and we'll come. Listen to me now. And we'll show ourselves for a bit. Willie, we listen to me. You're, I'll tell you what I'll do. Get your, your big daddy out, your father, and he's, isn't he the best fair play man in Ireland, as you say? What'd he do? For the whole lot of us. W Willie, listen to me now. Willie, you had no respect when you ran out of a graveyard yesterday with your tail on your legs. And they come back and make a tape, and they come back and make a tape this morning, Willie, did you? Now, Willie, listen to me, Willie, did, listen, Willie, you were at the funeral yesterday, why couldn't you finish it yesterday? Was it? Guards were there yesterday, Ah, Willie, pa Patrick, you're well used to guards, Patrick, because your mark made those statements that he says he never made, didn't he? Yeah, why are you fighting, Pat? Listen, Willie, Willie, I won't get anyone to do me fighting, I not like your father. 
I'm not like your father, Willie, to go and get other people to do me fight. I'll do my own fighting. And Tommy didn't rear sons, Willie, for to get anyone else to do the fighting for them. Tommy didn't rear sons to, to go and get anyone else to do the fighting. Where do you want to meet, Willie? Willie, you're not listening to me, son. I'm telling you yes. Now, no planner didn't yes, Willie. But where are you now? Willie, listen to me. You, you, you come over in an old bunch this morning, Willie. And look, there's only, Willie, there's only two of us. I swear in the holy, there's not a bunch of us. I swear, Willie, don't be afraid, listen to me. I swear in the holy picture, there's only two of us, and we're not dangerous, Willie. I swear in the holy picture, we're not dangerous. Because, look, no, no, don't mind, our, look, don't mind Uncle Barney. We won't even bring them out the road with us. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go out in the car, two of us, and we'll meet with Jean. Is that fair enough? How many of you is there? All right, now, now, listen to me. Yes, but... Not about, but Willie, Willie, you have to realise now, and I'm going to tell you, Willie, I love it. Willie, I'd love it. Willie, million percent, I'd love it. <laughs> Willie, is, how many do you have? You need to bring me for five. How many do you have for five? I have five or six. You five or six. They're, well, they're matched. I, listen to me, it doesn't make a difference. They're matched, Willie. Where are you to fight? Willie... I'll fight any one of your sons. I but uh, Willie, now listen to me. Now, today, Willie, today, Willie, to, today. Wait, uh, Willie, listen to me. You need Willie, your runners. Shut up, Willie. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Willie, listen to me. It's not us that needed running, Willie. It was you that ran every place in your life. It's not us that needed running. Go on, look, hung up. Shite. Where am I? Uh, did you lose your runners? You did. I did. I haven't well tightened up her. Now, if you pronounce now, finish what you started, that's the man. Instead of behind that. No, right, all right, listen to me. All right. Were you chatting to John? Were you chatting to. Were you chatting. Bye. All right. Bye. Patrick, Patrick. Patrick. What do you mean? Pa Patrick, Patrick. What's it? You have to give him. You have to give him time to talk. He has. He has his feet repetitive. All right, go on. No, sorry. Go on. Yeah. Where's Joe? You're sure for looking other people's asses. Mark. Ah, uh, Mark McDonough. Ma is this Mark McDonough? Run, run to back with your life, Mark. Then. One second. Are you are you vexed with Daddy Mark over talking to Uncle Willie? Is that your problem? Willie, Martin, Martin, are you vexed with Daddy? Martin, are you vexed with Daddy over talking to Uncle Willie? Is that your problem? Big Patrick's Willie, there's a no number to ring me three times on, alright? Don't send out one old video, Willie, about what we says. I'll do three videos here, Willie, as soon as you picked up the phone. I'll send them out, Willie. I need a little bit more manner than you. And as I says, Willie, you want fight, you'll get fight. There's no one hiding here underneath the tail of a skirt, Willie, like ye, or underneath a camera. You ring me for fight, you'll get fight. As much fight as ye want, you'll get it. We'll see who the boxers is, Willie, amongst the McGindleys. I'm not claiming to be a boxer, Willie, but by golly, I'd be damned in me grave if it day if you bait me. Or any of your dirty sons, for that matter. Any of your dirty sons. Sammy, I'm here in Ditsy Navens, side home on the gar. You're on making a bit of a video clip saying you want to box me tonight or tomorrow. I'm here in Ditsy Navens, side Sammy, and I'm willing to box you tonight or tomorrow. There's no problem, get it on. I'm happy, I'm here with Ditsy Patrick, and I'm happy with this man to show me fair play. And he's a neutral man, he should be good enough for his voters to show fair play. But if you don't want him to show you fair play, you can get your own fair play, man. I've no protecting is that as long as these people are happy. Let's get it on now, Sammy. You're long enough around and saying that we need other people to fight for us. We don't need no other fight for us. We do our own fighting. My father and these three brothers have not been to do their own fight. We showed respect yesterday, Sammy, inside in that graveyard to our granduncle, Bainey McGinley, and his wife, Kathleen. More than what you done. But we'll leave that to another day. We'll get this fight over we get a sorted. Patrick, me and his grandson came to ask us to show fair play. We're, we're, show, we're showing fair play and we show you fair play as well. It's just if you're happy with that, there, get whatever you want. Sorry. Sammy, listen to this now. See, can you make tail of it? By your sons. I, but the, Willie, now listen to me. Now, today, Willie, today. Willie, to, today. I'll fight any one of your sons. 
Now, Sammy, that's you playing as day. When someone, Sammy, was holding your hand and making a little bit of a man of you and giving you a small bit of courage to go up and make that tape. Would you not come out and finish now, Sammy? You sent for me. I'm here to box. Today or tomorrow, Sammy. All you are, Sammy, the packet of liquor. She's going around the country licking and kissing people's hole. You're the talk of the country, Sammy. You cowardly bastards, going into places and kissing people's arse and I'm hugging them and, and eating the ears of them. You should be ashamed of yourself, you cowardly bunch of bastards. I beg you, Sammy, just come out to me. Give me two or three minutes while you're in front of me. The whole world, Sammy, is talking about you. And you're meant to be the men. And then won't come out and fight. As some fighting man you are, Sammy. Patrick, I seem to reply there. You went over to Ditty Nave and jumped for Patrick. That's all right, no bother. Jo His brother John had to ring in me here for the show fair play. No bother. Now, Patrick, you rang for your fight this morning. Well, you didn't ring. I am not going to tell lies. Your daddy did. Your daddy had to do a little phone call. Him. Your daddy rang for his fight. Your fight is accepted, uh, Patrick. All right? And I told Ditsy's young fellas the one way. We'll all go into the field. We'll fight. And what happens, happens, Patrick. Ye bring it down the road looking for fair play. We're not backing out of it. I told Ditsy's boys the understanding of... Young John, the man is a gentleman, he was on the phone to me. If ye want to get it on this evening or get it on in the morning, did these fellas will show us fair play if they want to. Either telling them the circumstances, what's going to happen. There's no problem, there's no one backing out of fight here. We'll go and fight, but what happens, Patrick, you remember, it will happen. You'll get your fights, there's no problem with that. If you want to get back to me and have a speak with John and see what Ditchy's boys wants to do, if they want to bring us out of a road, there's no problem. But you ask for your fight, it'll be an open fight on our side. If you if you can do, match that, there's no problem. This is John here. Pat McGinley's sons come over to Holly and grandsons and uh, the access show fair play. Willie's son Patrick wanted to fight Tommy McGinley's son Sammy. So we said no problem to show them fair play. Uh, I was talking to Sammy. Tommy McGinley's son, Tat Sambi, and he said, no problem, he'll fight, they're refusing, he said. But he wants ex both sides to go to, at one time. So, Dabby's, Small Barney's, Tommy's, and Pat McGinley's. Now, we're not, we're not going to bring two crowds out at one time, because they'll end up killing one out the road, and we're not getting involved in the likes of that. At the end of the day, you're all family, first cousins, uncles, nephews. So, we won't be sure, we will show fair play, but... It has to be normal show, fair play where one man again one man. We're not we're not bring air nine fellas this this van to, out the road and air nine fellas another van out the road. They didn't have killing one out there, no. So that's all that's all I have to say. Right boys, you know who this is. This is a big party crowd getting back to y'all. Sammy, you're up there on DVDs saying you want a gang fight and you want to bring all your men with you for some reason. We were willing to let our man out to you. We were giving you that respect, which I don't deserve it. It's an hour good man out here, but we were giving you that respect. But you said you wanted to bring your whole 10 or 15 men. So this is what you do. The whole world knows what you're talking about. You want to be a cowboy western thing that you know that can happen. The whole world knows gang fights can happen. Get your 10 or 12 men, which we know you don't have, because the man that started it, Patrick, has gone back to England. Then this is above in the house with a bag of nerve tablets where Raphael here in the Holy Days are to buy him the town. Barney's gone back to Germany. So your gang, Sammy, you were put in the back of a small mini minor car. But anyway, get what you have, go to Mullingar to Ditsy Navin's crowd. The men is over there, the window showed all the height of respect, showed the most fair play or whatever they wanted. Get all your men, go to him, Ditsy Navin, the man told us he's going to ring us and let us know how many men you have. Then, then they'll ring us and they'll explain to us what way them men wants to do it. If them men wants to bring the whole six or seven of each side out at one time, fair enough, we're willing to do that. If they want to bring one by one or two by two, whatever it has. So... Go to them men, what's your men, your whole group, whatever, 10, 12, 20 if you have them, we don't care, we have enough here for every man you have. We We're believe, all here, all be patches under here. We believe, we believe we have two to year one, up or down. So, gangs is not going to frighten us, right? Even if you had 10 to 1, you weren't going to frighten big patches crowd, different blood. So, go now to Ditchy's crowd, with your gang, tell the men what you want to do, no problem if you want to bring the 20 men out the road, go to them men, them the men is going to organise, they're the fair play men. Sammy, we know what kind of person you are. We're McGinley men. We're doing this to shame you. Because we know you're never going to fight. So you can have the laugh among yourselves, what you're saying and what you're not going to say. But every traveller, Sammy, in the whole world is listening to ye bowing down the big Patrick's boys again. Do you understand that? 
Ye and Barney's boys again, bowing down again. You're all ha ha ha, we'll fight out the road. We're telling you we'll fight out the road. Go to the men to bring you out the road, get you fair play. Them men is going to contact us, saying how many ye have, and we're going to match it. No problem. So you can't say we've, we've more than what ye have, because the men there is it is gone abroad. Do you understand? We know you have a few sick fellas, belonging to you that's never going to fight. We know your gang. We, you know our numbers, we know years. We know the men that's going to fight belong to you, and the men that's never going to fight belong to you. Get around, Sammy. So, get around. Out. And stop licking people's arse around the country because you're the talk of the country at the minute and you're embarrassing the whole breed of a McGinley. We thought you were McGinley men, but now we understand what you are. You lick holdy. Get it out the road now. Bring your men over to Mullingar and it'll be sorted out from there. We're all here waiting. Did you call Hus and say there's 10 men here? Wherever he wants it. Wherever he wants it, yeah. But did you ring Hus and say there's 10 men here, 15 men, 20 men? That's no problem. We'll set that look. We'll be there. And that's it. That's it. And that's 100%. No bother. Get it on there. We call the way you want to go. That we go that way. No problem. Get over there and I'll get your wind sorted out and it's ready to rock. Now you heard that there. All the boys is here. They're ready. We're all ready to roll. As we know, we have enough fee. So go now to the men. We're only doing this to shame you because we know you're not going to do this, though, boys. We're doing this to embarrass you. We're all the one blood. We we know how to embarrass you, and we're doing that. And the quicker though the suits us, the better. So get on the road. We're here waiting for you. Patrick. Listen to me, you're on about Mullingar, Mullingar this. John give you your message, you got your message. If you're willing to meet out the road, we don't need no ditches boys, I'm very, very thankful of them. And you should be as well for the show fair play. John replied the message to you, you got your message Patrick. There's no one showing cowards here. You must be a coward Patrick, I didn't I needed no one to hold my hand. Cecil's tongue, I needed no one to hold my hand. Speech and therapy. You come out, Patrick, what you got? Your father wanted loads of fight this morning on the phone, boy. He wanted loads of fight. He got his fight, Patrick. There's no problem. There's no one backing down here, Patrick. But ye listen to the current terms and conditions. Ye rang for fight. Ye got your fight. You got your answer. Take it. If you want that, we can always meet, Patrick. We're not miles from each other. We're not miles. We're only 25 miles. We're all living around each other in bunches. Don't worry. We'll all get cosy. It's an old winter's time. We've up here to march. I'm not going back anywhere here. I don't think you're going to go back anywhere for a while anyways. 